we also have a, a little louder voice than, <laughs> than I expected. <laughs> uh, we have a kid's chat, and I think we've got a kid. <laughs> Come on, Indy, you're the, you're the, to the token kid for the day. Um, I want you to watch me do something and tell me which is the best way that I do it, okay? And I'm sure that everybody is going to have an opinion about this. I want to be able to walk from here over to level with you, right? Do you think I can do that? I hope I can. I'm going to do it in three different ways. I want to make sure that I can walk the straightest line, right? This is number one. Ah, there you go. Oh, that's number one. Okay. Number two, straightest line, right? No comment. <laughs> Should have worn shorter shoes. Right? I'll give up at that point. That's two. Three. The third was the best one. It was the straightest one, wasn't it? What's the message for everybody? The first one. Starting from here. What did I keep doing? Looking back. Looking back. Right? Looking back where I'd come from. Even now. Look, I've got a bummy there. Second, it was the smallest possible steps that I could take. Right? But the third one, what do you reckon? keeping my eye where I was going, right? On all three, I had a mission. My mission was to get from there to here, okay? Now, I could have asked someone else to do it for me. And if I'd said, for example, back here, Oh, Christine, could you come and do this for me, please? <laughs> I would then be sending Christine for me on my mission. In other words, she would become my missionary. She would be doing it for me. Possibly because I might have strained my ankle on the second one. Right? I could have gone right off balance. Now, what's the best way when we're thinking about wanting to do what God wants us to do? Exactly keep our eye on what Jesus would want us to do, isn't it? Don't keep on looking back. Don't look at every little step along the way. Always keep your eye focused on what Jesus would want you to do, okay?